right, good morning everyone, it's Leanne. It's October the 17th, Sunday in the morning. I'm on Lake Ontario here. Beautiful, chilly morning. It's about 11 degrees. And I, my, the last video I posted actually, I can't believe it was so long ago, it was of a freestanding teepee that I found way down the shoreline, way down there. And um, I walked by yesterday and it's no longer there. There are some curious rock stacks along here though I'm going to go take a look at. Uh, but take a look here. This is a new freestanding teepee. Not only one, but there's a second right there. Now I haven't been here since um, late August or so. So it's been over a month. What I find curious about this particular freestanding teepee is in the water <laughs> and uh, and this is Lake Ontario so there's no like tides right so and the entrance to it I'll show you uh, when we get over there entrance to it is actually from the water side so I mean people say sure you know kids could build this it's on the beach but uh, usually if a kid or kids build a fort they want to play in it and the inside would be pretty mucky and, and muddy. So I just wanted to throw that out as, uh, as I ponder this creation. There's a lot of wood in this, just from what I see walking towards it. Oh, hi everybody. Hey, how's everyone doing today? There's a ton of weight. Wood is so big, or some of these pieces are so big. Now there's some rocks, I don't know if they were placed or, or they must have been placed, I guess. Oh, cute, there's a nice little feather. Oh, there's two little feathers. They stay here and here. Isn't that lovely? Huh. There's a walking trail just behind me that goes along the lake. I'm going to keep the light today. It's quite cool and it's been raining a lot over the past 24 hours or so or more. As you can see, uh, it's actually not really even a, an entrance. Maybe around there. But this is the um, the mouth of a, of a very dominant river that goes north of here. And I have, over the past, say, six years, found several dozen quality structures along this one river and, um, and I've gone as far north of here as maybe oh, I meant to look at this maybe 25 kilometers or so the river itself goes farther north than that but I just scrambled along shoving let's go oh look at this that's so cool look at that little one uh like it's gonna be right there uh, there's the sand it is it wasn't built too, too long ago because it's been pouring rain all weekend and then it goes up it's a bird piece as well it's right there. isn't that so neat and then here's a hanger that's 
actually will hunt these people. Well, that's really cool. There's all this other... These other little branches and twigs that have been placed. And like this, shoved in the gravel there. It's sitting right there. Nice. So I was actually walking along this trail yesterday came way from down there and, I, and when I got to the top of that point I looked down here and I was like oh my gosh there's two two new teepees two to freestanding I could see it from this far away but I didn't make it all the way over here because I, I had to turn around and run home but anyway I'm here first thing today and I'm so grateful that they're still here nothing happened overnight but yeah like look how beautiful these are they're a work of art <laughs> in the morning, the colors right now are really something. I guess the seagulls like these things too. I just wanted to share this with you. And I find this super, super interesting. Who would have chosen to build this? So this river would have absolutely been swollen uh, more so than usual and would have emptied and drained up a lot of water along here over the past couple of weeks. So I just think it's neat how um, how the water doesn't seem to be affecting it. Maybe the, the, uh, the wood is actually sinking deeper into the sand and could be causing more stability actually perhaps. I, I don't know. So anyway, pretty beautiful, huh? Let me go look at these rock stacks behind me. Alright, take care folks, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks for being here with me.